Today's scam is something that we're just gonna have some fun with. We're about to introduce you to a scammer pretending to be multiple people, including a 14-year-old refugee from Ghana who needs investment assistance and wants me to be his daddy. You cannot make this stuff up. We're about to dive deep into this scam email and see if we can get this scammer to waste his time on us and maybe embarrass himself as he tries to portray a child. Just a little bit. You ready? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. The initial scam email came directly to me and an email address of one of my aliases named Chase Chapman, a character that I occasionally use to bait scammers with. We can't use our real names because a quick Google search by any scammer would very quickly give us up. Now, as fun as this is going to be, there's still a really scary element to this entire experience. My Chase Chapman Gmail account was only opened very recently and it's already receiving direct email solicitations from all kinds of scammers. I don't use this Gmail for any business activities or any personal subscriptions. Yet in just a couple of months, it's all already been harvested by scammers and cyber criminals all over the world. Scary stuff. But anyway, let's set the scene and have some fun making a scammer very irritated. I got a really weird email from a child, so to speak. Oh, what kind of bullshit do we have And this apparently time, this child needs investment assistance mm -hmm. from a John Geedham yeah. at john.geedham at aol.com. Email. I am John Geedham. I am 14 years of age from Liberia, but presently I live in the refugee camp here in Ghana. I came to Ghana when I was four years with aid of United Nation Peacekeeping Force and I was handed over to Reverend Father Paul Martins in St. Luke Catholic Church, who has been my father in Christ and father in my upbringing. I lost my parents years ago during the war in Liberia, so my only relation is Reverend Father, Reverend Father Paul Martins, a Canadian priest that nationalized here in Ghana. Daddy, good people happen to die so quick. My father in the Lord died on the 14th, February 2019, being Valentine Day. Okay. okay. It was a very sad day in my life, but as a mass servant to him and a son to him. That's not a complete sentence. I was called last month by the United Nations humanitarian body that Reverend Father Paul Martins willed his savings to me. It happened like a miracle to me because I am not aware of it at all, which he has been saving for years now. Are you got speaking, it? Are you speaking English no. right now? Which language I are you talking to I don't even understand right my what, own what words, what I'm saying. Now, the United Nation humanitarian body needs me to present someone to them as my guidance and beneficiary before they can release my inheritance, since I'm too young to handle such inheritance. I'm afraid to say I can only trust foreigners for this inheritance because of the way my late Reverend Father Martins half brought me up. Daddy. All I'm asking from you is my guidance so that I can appoint you as my guidance and beneficiary to the United Nations humanitarian body for the release of my inheritance. I wait for caring response. God bless you, John Geedham. Daddy. I have only two concerns. <laughs> only <video>. two? I'm <laughs> really crying right now. I have two concerns. Concern number one. I feel bad for this kid, very bad. Okay, you know, like, he's really 14 in yeah, this situation. He, yeah, it's a horrible situation. It, it's a horrible situation, he lost his parents, right? I wish I had in, uh, investment advice at age 14. But my 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 concern is uh, extending by, what a smart kid, he already need a financial uh, advisor. advisor. At 14. And look, Ash, At 14 I, know I was worried about facial hair. My second concern is... Or lack thereof. And that probably should, uh, <laughs> should be concerned applying on, uh, you know, on your family and you being a married man. Okay. What the heck have you done that some kids start calling you daddy? They're calling me daddy, They're calling Chase Chapman daddy. Either one or any of Chase Chapman could so be So who is daddy? I, 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 I don't are you, know. Are you daddy of this I kid? thought, I don't know. I, I know. I, not that I, not not that I know of. Before? Not that I am any aware of. Okay, uh, Daddy. So here's, I already right out of the get-go messed this up. <laughs> I've replied as Chase Chapman, Hi John, thank you for the email, I would be glad to help. And I forgot to delete my freaking signature from Trilogy Media. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> he didn't seem to care. Probably because he's only 14, he didn't, just didn't pay attention. Uh, he replied. Sir, thank you for answering my email message to you. God Almighty will bless you abundantly for accepting to help me. All I need from you is to stand as my trustee to the inheritance as the United Nation humanitarian body required. Investing with this inheritance will be decided by you since they will keep the inheritance in your custody until I am of age to manage it myself. I was told he's very somewhat 
well spoken in bits and pieces. In bits and pieces, For yeah. a 14 year old. I was told it was a huge sum of money, but they did not tell me the amount until I presented my trustee to them. You can contact Mr. Benson Gama for other findings about my inheritance because he is the person that attended to me in the office of the United Nations humanitarian body, Accra, Ghana, about the inheritance from late Reverend Father Paul Martin's email. Benson Gama 1960 at gmail.com. Phone number. I wait for a caring response. God bless you, Daddy. John Yidum. What the heck is this? I have no idea. So um, I replied, and I, I did it. <laughs> you, again. Daddy, stop making. You made two mistakes back to back. You know how many scammers I talk to on any given day? I forgot. I had it on auto auto signature, and I forgot. So you keep replying as a as Benson, Ashton Bingham, <laughs> but you Ashton Bingham with your picture on it, with a link to my scam baiting YouTube channel. <laughs> He didn't seem to care. Chase Chapman said, okay, I will email him. Um, Ashton Bingham in fancy font. <laughs> ridiculous. Um, he replied, John Keatum, secret. Oh, so he's already secret? No idea. Oh. Thank you for your concern and God and his infinite, at first I thought this said infinity stone. <laughs> <laughs> and his infinite mercy will bless you and your household. I could see from your mail that yeah. you are a good Christian. You're a good Christian, Ash. He could tell that from my email, yeah, from my five-word email. Because you're daddy and daddy. And you, know. you have the fear of God in you, and which will still make me not relent of begging you. I will always be a source of joy to you and your family if you get this done for me as promised. A pleasant day ahead. John. He's been using a Google translation from 69 different languages? And I guess I didn't reply fast enough because he, he sent it again. He said, sir, and then he just pasted the exact same email beneath that. So the first time he said secret, and then he resent it as sir. Maybe he realized he screwed it up. I'm just about to say that he, you know, I thought he said like, hey, I have a secret. You know, I have a secret, and the secret is you my no, daddy. No, he just called me secret. Anyway, I said, I, I was, thanks, I John, and I got my shit together. I, I didn't do the signature this time. He replied again, um, sir, how are you doing today and your family? I hope you're in good condition of health. I've been waiting to hear from you about the response from the United Nations. Please, sir, let me know what is happening. He replied again, he's very eager. Good day, sir, very eager 14 year old. I have not heard from you in a while now and I'm so worried. In the meantime of all of this, I had sent an email to Mr. Benson Gama. I said, hi, Mr. Benson Gama, this is Chase. John told me to email you about the inheritance. And we're, we're just not gonna talk about this here because I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know how I messed that up a third time. At this point, it doesn't matter. He replied, he said, please introduce yourself properly. And what is the full name of the person called John? What is your relationship with him? Thank you. And I said, yes, it is John Geetum. And my name is Chase Chapman. Thank you, and nice to meet you. And then he sent me this copied and pasted thing full of nonsense. Desk of Mr. Benson Gama, Administrative Finance Officer, United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Accra, Ghana. All I know about him is that the late Rebbe goes on the same thing. But here it is. Finally. His goodwill ambassadors benefit of $7.2 million from United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Over his hospitality to refugee children from various crisis zones in Africa to this young boy, John Geetum, and it is my duty to ensure the money will be paid to the person that he will present as his trustee. Prior to my interview with him, he stopped schooling in class one, junior high school, and presently working as kitchen assistant in a restaurant. So I support your decision to further him education in your country. I believe he will also like it. So I seek your indulgence to come to office here in Accra, Ghana to facilitate, he wants me to go to Ghana to facilitate the legal process of, of obtaining the affidavit of claim in the court of law. Just lots of, he probably has a thesaurus just on hand, just, just to make as many legal complicated terms as he can. But if you are not chance to travel out of your country due to the fear of the coronavirus pandemic. Oh, look at this. He's got an excuse, of you course. Excuse, yeah. We can help you apply for it and send you all the form that you need to fill via such email nice attachment. Guy. Such an accommodating mm -hmm. chap, mm -hmm. which you will fill correctly and return back with the court notarization processing fee. Oh. That will be stated in the court form. Please send me your copy of ID card, copy of your passport, complete name and address. Note, you can call me with my direct phone number if you want more explanation about the legal process. But of course, it's an international phone number. Again, replied uh, back to him. Hi, mister, thanks for the reply. Yes, please send me the form so I can collect it. Chase Chapman, 1131 West Washington Boulevard, which is not my house. He replied back again. 
that I am in receipt of your address, but send me your copy of ID or copy of your passport so I can file an application. So we need to get an ID for Chase Chapman. Oh, we need Again, it. he yeah. called me there. He said, okay, I will get this to you in the next couple hours. That's what I said earlier this morning. Back to John. Sir, hope you're doing good today. I just needed you to tell me what is the response of Mr. Gama so that I will know. So this guy is like playing freaking multiple personalities, multiple Two keyboards. emails, one person, yeah. one is 14. Another one is uh, the one who is giving money and... What is the response of Mr. Gama so that I will know what is happening? Because my situation here is not good and I'm worried. I wait to hear from you, sir. John. I said, yes, he replied to me today asking for more info, which I already sent. Stay strong, my friend. Are you okay? Can I see a picture of you? What do you look like? You ready for this? Sir, thank you so much for your mail. I'm happy to be hearing from you once again. God will bless you more this year since you have known me and you will never regret your help to me. Well, I am sending two of my pictures to you now and I will I will like the same from you too. I want you to tell me more about yourself so I'll also know who is my guardian. Who will take guardian? care of me. I await your quick response now. John NB, please always try and update me about your discussions with Mr. Gama. He sent me two pictures. I don't even know what to say about this. Okay, picture number two. Picture number two. Are you sure? A selfie game on point. Are you sure those two people are the same? They're, I don't think they are. <laughs> he looks a lot younger in this photo. And he looks like he's 19 in this photo. Would you be willing to text me so we can talk more? You yeah. sound like a cool person. Of course. Gave him my phone number. He sent me a text from an international number. Good morning, sir. Hope you're doing great today. You are God sent to me and I will forever remain grateful. Please let me know more about you, sir. And he's called me four times since yesterday morning. So I'm curious to see if we can get him on the phone, what he sounds like. Well, since, you know, like, uh, you're becoming a daddy soon, you know, like you, you... Apparently I thought I was already daddy. Yeah, but it's only after you're gonna pay a uh, small little fees mm. and then you're gonna receive $7.2 million very, very and nice. then you're gonna be official daddy for this kid in Africa. Got it. Yeah, so you dated, but you're not there so yet. You understand? Just, yeah. You're just like, you know, a little Such bit financial obligation. All right, let me try calling him. Let's, let's call. Uh, John Geetham, and uh, you'll just be my, uh, so I'm Chase. And who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm daddy assistant. Assistant daddy. We'll be co-daddies to Mr. John. Investment. Oh, because you have investment. We both have investment experience. Here we go. Unfortunately, the platform I'm using to call scammers anonymously will not let me make outbound calls to this international phone number. However, it will receive calls from it. We don't want to put any of our personal contact information at risk, so we need to engineer this scam bait to not only get John to call us, but to do so when we are ready to talk to him and ready to film it. But before we get there, he did ask for an ID. So we're gonna give him one. What if we made an ID with both of us on it? As co-daddies? Yeah. <laughs> well, for instance, since I'm a co-daddy financial advisor, I have to look smart, so I'm gonna put my glasses on. Have you ever seen on driver license two people? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything. First, we need to take the driver's license picture. All right, baby, do it. Don't call me daddy. I know we're making a video, but it's weird. <laughs> weird as fuck. Okay. All right, this looks freaking ridiculous, but I'm gonna send it anyway. Hi John, I tried calling you, but my phone can't call international. international. Can we connect on can, can we connect Skype? Skype? Thanks, Chase. Now let me email Gamma. <clears throat> Here is the identification for Vlad and myself. We will be 
co-guiding, co-daddies, so to speak. Perfect, and I'll make it smaller so he doesn't read too much into it. Thanks! Co-daddy incorporated. Okay. Benson Gama. This scammer is in no hurry. He's clearly in it for the long game, and I would imagine he's probably not very experienced. Nonetheless, we didn't hear back from him for several days. Almost a week later, I'm in my office at my desk working on a completely separate project, and I randomly get a call from John. I wasn't prepared with any of my cameras or lights or anything, but since I can only receive calls from him, I had to answer this. I quickly scrambled together my camera and my screen recorder, and I signaled Art with a blowhorn to come join me in the room. Since we're not always in the same room in the office, sometimes I'll use a horn to signal Art to come join me in my room to film urgently. He was on the far side of the office at this moment, so he couldn't hear me. Let the hilarity ensue. Hello, hello, Austin. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, I was speaking to Mr. Chase. Yeah, this is Chase. Uh, hi, is this John? Yeah, this is John. How are you today? I'm I'm doing great. How are you? I'm I'm good. I'm good. Uh, uh, you know, I have been so worried uh, I because of uh, because of what Mr. Guma told me. What did he so, tell? And since then, you have you have not written back to him. What did What did he tell you? I, I called him this afternoon. Uh, you still said the same thing that you have not replied him. No, I replied to him. I, I sent him the ID. I sent him everything he asked for. But, but the ID you sent, that is just his problem. You know, he wants to be very sure that you are who you are saying you are. Oh, Why oh. don't you just find a, 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 an ID that you are alone in it and send to him? Yeah, hold on. Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay. Okay, uh, hold on, let me look at the ID, because maybe I sent you the wrong one. The ID you sent to him was the one you have two pictures on him. Yeah, is that You have not... two pictures on yes. Send him in the one that you are alone. But but I'm going to be co-daddying, that's the thing. I, I'm going to be with him uh, uh, adopting you, right? Yes. How are you? You know, I told you to tell me more about yourself. You have not even said anything. So like, how can I talk to you? How can we be talking to ourselves through messages? Well, that's what I was saying. I was hoping you could open a, an account on Skype or something because we can chat. I don't know about that, but okay. I'll, I'll try and ask somebody if I can do that today. I'll let you know. Okay, better. I'll check one of those two. The one I can call in, I'll let you know. The fuck? I can hear you. Yeah, so remember, I, yeah, I'm looking at the ID right now, and uh, it's, is this one not good enough? Because he's here, Vlad is here with me, it's, we're, it's, we're, he's going to be my co-daddy, so does do Mr. Gama, does he need something else? Yes, he needs the one you are alone in the ID, not, not you and somebody. But we're both... The clean ID that you are alone. We we both daddies. Yeah, we we're co-daddies. We co-daddies. We're registered. We're reg Vlad. Yeah, Vlad and Chase. We're registered with the state as co-daddies. So we're we're gonna be co. We co adopting. Yeah. We co eating. We co sleeping together. Yeah. I, I don't know what I can say. You just give him an email. I just write to him. That's a nice music. Yeah. What are you listening? Hello? Are you in the elevator? No, I'm in the room. I'm, I'm, I'm watching TV. Oh, what are you watching? Because we call watchers as well. We watch everything together. This one is so difficult because I can't call him. I can only receive the call because I can't call it back. I'm usually, I can ignore it and call back when I'm ready. And I'm in my room. I blew I the horn like 14 times. You weren't I answering. Was like, oh, then I was like, he called, I emailed him as soon as I got in today. And I said, call me now. And I've had my shit, my screen recorder ready for any time if you happen to call me. And he just now called me. Okay, I'm going to need a selfie for your solo daddy ID. And then if he doesn't call me back right now, then I'll just send yeah, an email. And I'll, I'll listen for your blowhorn. That's your signal. It's like a bat signal. It caught me. It, you hear we the bat not, signal, you run to if we not, rescue. Yeah. I'm sitting here blowing a horn like a fucking idiot. Hold on. On. hold on, John. Mute. <laughs> like 15 times. Oh like, how much like, louder can this get? The fucking so neighbor's cat is going to get here before you. Take a solo daddy photo.
It looks like a profile picture for some kind of fucking like well, it's a like prof- role play sex website where you're like some kind of uh, <laughs> Russian geometry teacher and you're supposed to put on like a whole show. <laughs> Russian geometry teacher. That's what happens if you you know if you you have a bad grade and you know you have to stay after class. You know, like to make sure that you, you know, work out that A plus great. At least in my country, it works like that. After resending the IDs that were slightly more proper, I kept emailing him my Skype invite link, hoping that he would come join me. The next day, thankfully, he did, allowing us to now be able to make outbound calls to him directly. He's still avoiding video chat connection since he's pretending to be a child, but we're able to get him on an audio call a lot more easily and ask him some more questions about his childhood in Ghana. Let's have some fun. Yeah, hello, how are you? Hey, Mr. John. Sid? Can you see me? I'm fine, Mr. Chris. And you? I'm good. And this is Chase and Vlad. Can you see me? Yes. Uh, yeah. Call Daddy's in the I house. Think I oh, don't... Call Daddy's Incorporated. Yes, I can see you, but, uh, but you can't see me. Yeah, you just got to click the video button. Yeah, switch. Okay, how are you doing today? We're fantastic. How are you, buddy? It's late over there, huh? I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I don't. I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to explain my problems to you. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, it's it's been kind of busy over here at Daddy Co Daddy's Incorporated. We've been uh, we've been assessing a lot of opportunities, and we feel like you're the best one for for this uh, for this new venture. Um, you seem like a good a good kid. We are all about good nutrition, good jiggy jiggy at night, and adopting right, very good kiddos and. Uh, here we go. Absolutely. Yeah. You're a very good kid. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. You know, uh, it's not been easy. It's not been easy for, for four good years that I've been here in Ghana when I was small. Yeah. Uh, before I was left in the United Nations Refugee Office. Refugee I've been office. here since. Didn't know they had yes. a refugee office. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was in the United Nations Office. I've been there. And you're how old now? Uh, before how, I was how old called are you now? Up. You said? How, how old are you now? I can't remember. Yes, I'm 14. I'm going to 15 now. You're 14. 14 what day? 15. What day is your birthday? Yeah. 28th of December. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, what year? Well, the, uh, the same year that you calculate 14 years. Oh, okay. Same year. Same year as you calculate 14 years. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, last time when we did, you said that you were from refugee office. Last time we were trying to actually adopt a baby. We Me, called the refugee office. Yeah, and we but it was a refugee idea. garage. Remember, that was the problem. That's true. All they had was like pelicans and turtles and shit. Yeah, yeah. we cannot adopt uh, pelicans or turtles, but we can adopt you. I think we're legal enough and we could. We, we're we, code we, that. we're we, incorporated. We, we very incorporated. Yes. Oh, there's no problem about that. The, the, the only thing I want to let you know is you have to talk to Mr. Goma. I told you about that. Mr. Gumba. Yeah, good I know. With him. But we, I, Goomba, I, Goomba. I, I, sent, I sent Goomba our ID. Did, did he not receive it? Did you send him something else? Can we just say hi to you? I, I just, I, I, I miss you. We, we both miss you. From different angle. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you. I don't know. I, I don't know how to operate this. Yeah, I, I well, you can this figure it out. There's a, there's a video chat yeah. button. Come on, you're in yeah. a young generation. Yeah. You could figure this out. You, you know have more than us. And all yeah. that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Take your finger and push it on the on, on the button. Yeah. Push it on the camera. Do you think I can find that here? Yes, I'm you can find it in the air. You can find it. Just yeah. just look at your phone or your computer. Just. The camera, just mm-hmm. push it. And it's push called it. finger, finger. No, I, Take I, your finger. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Not, I'm, 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 not, I'm not on a phone. I'm not on a phone. I'm, you, I'm on a desktop laptop. Oh, even, even better. There's um, a button on the bottom of the screen. You just hit the camera button. Yeah. He sounds like 14. No, he sounds like 15. I, I changed my mind. No, he sounds like he's 45. <laughs> it sounds like Mortimer's like younger cousin. This guy's putting in time, dude. He not only has he been uh, emailing me from two different he was emails, double but he's yeah. been calling, he's been texting, and now he even opened a brand new Skype Skype account. 
for this very purpose. So just to, for the adoption. Just for the investment. No, no, no. He said, um, refugee office. Refugee office. Is that what you do in the morning? Scratch your ass. We're in this one for the long game, so we're gonna hold off confronting this guy about his scam. A little more time and patience is needed for this scam bait if we really want to expose this guy and discover perhaps if there's more people involved that we haven't yet found. And we're definitely gonna update you on later episodes what's going to be happening. Absolutely, but in the meantime, it's important to keep an eye on the red flags present from the very beginning. Red flags, here we go. Remember that this scammer did not ask for money up front. He took his time playing on my emotions, pretending to be a child in need. Scammers love to play on your emotions. Please help me, I'm in a bad situation. You're the only one hope I have. They love to play on your empathy and they go after good-hearted, generous people. It's good to be kind, but you have to protect yourself first. Stay informed and stay safe. And make sure you subscribe to your favorite scam fighting duo on YouTube at Trilogy Media. My name is Ashton. My name is Art. And we'll see you next time. time.